Actually, if I did not use uh, any light pollution filters, um, the imaging season would be over for me today now. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I will do some more imaging in order to complete a long-term project uh, I worked on for several weeks now. And as you, as you just saw, uh, I've also got um, two filters. So one is the uh, Optolon L Pro. This one I used since I've got my uh, first Astro dedicated camera. And the new one is the Optolon um, L Extreme filter. And both I will test today, uh, also against uh, no filter. And yeah, let's see. Today I will do the last uh, imaging session of M51 and its companion galaxy. Um, yeah, those are colliding galaxies. Um, they are quite bright. And um, yeah, as you may know, uh, quite famous um, when it comes to astrophotography. It's approximately 31 million light years away and yeah, it's really just a beautiful target and it has been on my target list for quite some time now. So I'm really happy and yeah, curious to see the results. A few videos ago I already talked about um, different filters and so on and why I initially bought this Optolon L Pro uh, broadband light pollution filter and so on. Um, it's really nice for broadband targets uh, because you get a, um, yeah, a really uh, nice uh, picture when it comes to colors. Uh, you have less color suppression, let's say, but you also, of course, uh, will introduce more light pollution. This is a spectrum of the Optolon L Pro filter. It's a broadband light pollution filter. Um, the peaks indicates um, yeah, wavelengths uh, which really reach the sensor of the camera and the valleys are really uh, also regions indicated by orange peaks uh, of light pollution. But more and more unfortunately uh, we have uh, white light, also white street lights and uh, the light pollution really gets more and more into uh, broadband spectrum. So using the L Pro filter is really nice, but you also will intru introduce quite a uh, high amount of light pollution because it's not so narrow, it's more broadband filter. In contrast, when you have the Optolong uh, L Extreme filter, um, this is actually my first, um, yeah, my first narrow band filter, narrow band pass filter to be exact. So as you can see here in the spectrum for the Optolon L Extreme filter, uh, you only can see uh, two quite narrow peaks in the O3 and H alpha uh, region. And this light and only this light really reaches uh, their sensor. And each of the two peaks is just about a seven nanometers narrow. And this narrowband filter is uh, also suitable uh, for my one-shot color camera. And this is very nice. Last time when I spoke uh, about the Optolon L Pro filter, I also showed you uh, this slide I made. And this uh, really shows you some facts, kind of areas of application for um, those filters. So as I just said, um, for example, galaxies are broadband. Um, targets and here you really uh, better use a quite uh, broadband 
pass filter like the Optolong L Pro filter and when it comes to nebulae which mainly emit light in the region of hydrogen, oxygen and sulfur uh, it's really better to use a narrowband filter because you get a much higher contrast and you also introduce less, much less um, light pollution. However, since I have no real opportunity to image a nebular at the moment, because we have galaxy season at the moment, or end of galaxy season, it's uh, June now, um, I think I will try those filters, also against no filter, on M51 and its companion. As I said before, uh, those are uh, colliding galaxies. You have great forces involved. You also have great, a great variety and uh, density. And this really is the basis for star formation and also star death. And so there were also uh, some supernovae uh, observed. I think it was uh, 17 now, uh, until now. And this also means you have some nebulae within the galaxy and the arms of the galaxy. So as you can see here in the Hubble picture, you really have um, yeah, extended regions of um, yeah, not just star formation, but also nebula uh, within this um, target. I also did some research on M51 and I came across this bearded uh, gentleman. It's a um, Welsh astronomer and yeah, his name is Isaac Roberts and he really accomplished great things when it comes to astrophotography. And he also created and built um, a tracking device for his telescope to really counteract the rotation of the Earth. So this is something we are still using, as you may know. And using this device, he was really able, as we are today, uh, to really increase the exposure times. So he really accomplished amazing pictures. I mean, we are speaking about the 19th centuries, century and uh, here are some examples. He also imaged M51, of course, and yeah, here is the photo uh, by Isaac Roberts from 1898. I think considering the time period and so on, and uh, photography was just invented maybe 70 or 80 years before, it's, it's just amazing. I think it's really an amazing picture of M51. Yeah. Again, it's a short night and let's start. Let's do the comparison of the results of the different filters. So I used a uh, no filter, I used the Optolong uh, L Pro filter, broadband light pollution filter, and I used the new uh, Optolong L Extreme filter. Uh, what I did is um, I captured uh, 10 subframes each and with 150 seconds exposure times 
per sub. What I also did, I uh, applied dark frames and this is all. I did not apply any flat frames or bias frames, only light frames and dark frames. I opened the pictures and pics inside, so here's the L Pro. Uh, this is no filter and this is uh, the L Extreme. Uh, all pictures are not stretched now so far and um, yeah what you already can see here is um, using no filter you have a yeah, quite low contrast and let's stretch the image um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is the L Pro stretch it quite nice so quite noisy, but actually quite nice. And this is the L Extreme. Now it's stretched. And I think this is uh, really quite interesting. Um, as I said before, I uh, ordered the Optolong L Pro filter, uh, broadband light pollution filter, together with my first uh, Astro dedicated camera. And actually, um, I never did a comparison between uh, yeah, no filter and L Pro. Uh, when I use my Astro Cam, I always use the L Pro so far. So this is also very interesting for me. And yeah, you can see really quite strange uh, colors here. And this is really um, connected to the low contrast, I would say, if you have a better idea. Um, let me know in the comments but I would say uh, so now it's summer uh, it's beginning of June and we have no real uh, darkness in Central Europe uh, at the moment um, yeah and so using no filter I have a quite low contrast uh, of my target uh, deep sky object in this case M51 uh, to my uh, quite bright uh, night sky and I think that's why I got this uh, strange uh, green colors here so it's really ugly I would say and I yeah I really want to minimize this and not see it anymore but um, yeah it's really a great um, contrast let's say to the L Pro filter applied which you can see here and uh, it's really amazing. Actually, if I did not use uh, any light pollution filters, um, the imaging season would be over for me today now. It's crazy. It's really crazy. And yeah, so I think here, as I said before, it's just uh, 10 subframes with 150 seconds exposure times um, combined and just the dark frames applied. And yeah, I think it's quite nice for only 10 uh, images. Um, yeah, what, what you also can see is, and what I also uh, explained in yeah, my last videos is that I, using my um, yeah, planetary uh, camera, uh, I really, it's really not perfect in any sense for deep sky objects because I have no active cooling and um, yeah it produced just a crazy amount of noise as you can see but um, yeah we also got some quite nice uh, m51 so far all right and now let's speak about the l extreme filter um, which is applied here and as i said before uh, those are really the bright regions are really regions of um, nebulae uh, within the um, galaxy. Of course, the picture uh, using only the L Pro filter is uh, much brighter. Um, yeah, you have more wavelength uh, coming through. Um, but this is actually quite nice um, to really see some H alpha regions here. So I think uh, this comparison is actually quite uh, interesting. So here we have the L Pro, which is uh, much brighter 
uh, more different wavelengths coming through, also more light pollution, um, less contrast as you can see here compared to the L extreme. And here using the L extreme um, with the oxygen and hydrogen uh, regions, uh, um, this is quite nice uh, to have those uh, highlights here. Um, and I think next time I will try to um, yeah, separately uh, apply the L extreme uh, signal um, to the L pro uh, picture. And maybe it would be uh, quite interesting to highlight uh, those uh, nebulae uh, regions. And yeah, quite interesting. Yeah, so now I will present you my final image of M51. Personally, I think it's the best uh, picture I ever created so far. If you think the same, please give me a thumbs up and please uh, also consider to subscribe to my channel uh, not to miss new um, content. And yeah, that's all so far and see you next time. Clear skies.